o to jest specjalnie dla Was, ale pamiętajcie, że ostrzegałam w razie czego. Jest to absolutnie mm, w sumie najgorszy albo najlepszy odcinek Catfish. Zależy jak patrzeć. Jest to absolutnie najgorsza postać, jaka kiedykolwiek wystąpiła w programie Catfish. Dobra, może trzeba by przygłosić trochę. Ambish presented by socialcatfish.com. On today's episode, we speak to a man named Tony from Denver, Colorado, who was approached by a woman named Patricia through text messages. The two engage in a conversation about a paid companionship. Tony started to have doubts about trusting Patricia and the company she worked for after sending thousands of dollars to meet her. This story will be completely different from any other episode we've released, so make sure you watch till the end. Let's get into it. Real quick, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into it. My name is Tony. I work in the restaurant industry as a cook. I enjoy riding motorcycles. Niemożliwe. Jesteśmy w nawet nie minęła minuta. Minęło 50 sekund. Mamy pana na motocyklu. Ciekawe, czy znajdziemy kiedyś odcinek, którym któryś z tych facetów nie jeździ na motocyklu. Sprawdzam, czy to coś może z kablem, że tak przycina kamerka. I started online dating after mutual separation between my last girlfriend. She moved out of town, had a boy that I wanted to fill. I joined a couple of websites. Tony signed up for a bunch of different dating sites, but he wasn't having much luck. He was contacted by a woman named Patricia through a random text message, not through the dating site. I met Patricia Fernandez. Her correspondence replying to me on my text message. She was telling me that she was 23 years old. I had her birthday, made some plans to meet, went to go meet her locally. She was attractive. She looked like she was average size. Dosłownie pierwsza rzecz, jaką nam o niej mówi. Wyglądała jakby była average sized. To jest kluczowa informacja. I don't know, five, four, nice figure, pretty smile, happy go lucky, very inviting, very enticing. But right away, it was I love you, I love you. And I, that was a little uneasy, unsettling. For me, it takes two or three dates before I start even having feelings or making advancement. Growing up, there were too many cheerleaders and other girls that just wanted to screw me because of who I was or because of my popularity or my achievements. I... Właśnie miałam pytać, kim takim był, że się na niego tak rzucały te cheerleaderki? <laughs> Boże, chłop dosłownie picked in high school. Rzucał piłką w liceum. I 40 lat później nadal mu się wydaje, że będą się na niego rzucać atrakcyjne dwudziestolatki. I wanted more. I wanted to do whatever I could to make this work. Tony was contacted by Patricia's manager. Her name was Mary Grace. Ej, zajebiste lor. Podoba mi się pani menedżerka. Ja bym chciała, ja bym chciała bliżej poznać swoją menedżerką. Told us that he didn't get any pictures of Mary Grace, so we just used these stock. Myślicie, że ona jest... A, okej, to jest... To są jakieś stokowe zdjęcia, których Katwisz tu żyła, bo nie mają zdjęć tej menedżerki. Fuck, ale mnie zrobiliście. I got catfished but by catfished. Videos and photos to represent her. We felt that if she was real, she'd probably look something like this. Anyways, she told Tony tak if he wanted to continue to speak with Patricia, he was going to have to pay. A manager had started corresponding me and it seemed like it was a dating service. I didn't want to Frugo Garo Dzięki za suba. subscribe or pay membership to it, but I ended up paying money for this dating service. Tony wanted to keep his relationship alive with Patricia. So he paid for the membership and they continued to chat. It was a private modeling company and the boss is <laughs> here in the same state. The boss też jest dobry. <laughs> Wkręcam się coraz bardziej w ten lore. And that there's a manager that travels and it seemed like it was some sort of infrastructure business. There was a certain quota that, that Patricia had and that 
that was the driving force. The connection between Tony and Patricia started to become stronger. Tony really enjoyed speaking to her every day. I felt like with the time and emotions that I was falling in love with her, that we were amorous and we were talking to each other, confiding in each other. The next day, Tony received a text message from Mary. Być może zauważyliście, że jest to pierwsza postać w historii Catfish, która ma zamazaną twarz. Ciekawe dlaczego. Grace. She told him that he needed to spend more money to continue to speak to Patricia. There was a title of the dating card and that was a couple hundred dollars. They would say, I I'm going to make sure that you're not some killer or a psycho. And I said, believe me, I'm not. I paid for that and I never received it. And I would make reference to it that where's my ID? Where's where is this clearance? Where's the established payment? Every time Tony would pay a fee, it just seemed like Mary Grace would come up with something else he needed to pay for to continue to talk to Patricia. They kept changing the fee, they kept changing the amount, and then they said we have to get some sort of uh, authorization fee. And I didn't want to back out and lose my money. My intentions were just to get to know her. I wanted to at least make contact and say hello and see the person's real. Tony kept chatting with Patricia, but at the same time, he started to get in contact with other models that were working for the same company. All of the girls, including Patricia, needed money from Tony. Females cost money, and no matter what you do, if you're taking them out to dinner, that amount is actually paying for ultimately what guys want. They want Ooh. And they have sex, no matter if it was dinner or a gesture. This is when things flat out just got weird. Mm. <laughs> Mary Grace sent a message to Tony asking if you We will release her to you once the fees are all paid. Co to do znaczy we will release her to you? He was willing to purchase Patricia for himself. They claimed that they would release her from the company and deliver her to Tony. What the fuck? What kind of company is this? Then I started raising my expectation that if they're going to say this, then they better meet that expectation. They promised everything, anything. They were just open-ended, full gamut. Yeah, you could do whatever. I promise. You can meet her. You'll be able to see her. And she's yours. What? Having relations, sex, you know, kids, whatever, sure. And they were talking about taking her out of state to Utah. I said that you can't take a confined prisoner or someone who's under restraint or under the supervision of an individual and cross state lines that you have to go through the necessary steps. I didn't Autumn on the movie. I didn't know what those were. I was just thinking logically. Oh, on tylko myślał logicznie. O okay. O okay. Czy on myśli, że, że w Stanach jest jakiś handel więź więźniarkami? Czy, czy on po prostu tak to nazywa, ale tak naprawdę ma na myśli human trafficking? I dlaczego do cholery poszedł z tym do kanału na YouTube? Her manager was mistreating her, that she was being physically abused, that there was a threat of them taking advantage of her. The guard, he checked my phone, or broke my phone, or broke the laptop. One time the guard punched her in the stomach and she said, hey, Please get me out here because the guys are drinking tonight and I think they're going to me. And I was like, that's fucked up. I said, I don't even want to talk to you about that. Those guys are fucked up and you got yourself in that situation. I can't help you. It's just the game that they're playing. It's, um, they're manipulating, having these open-ended promises of fantasy and there was some sort of schedule. I didn't, I was trying to put the schedule together when they allow her time to wake up, when they allow lunch, when they give her um, time to get on the internet and then at night. At this point, Tony had paid all the fees to get Patricia released from Mary Grace and her boss. Pat Aha, i zamiast na policję dzwoni to programu Catfish, bo czuje się oszukany. Mógł jeszcze zadzwonić, nie wiem, do Biura Ochrony Praw Konsumentów. Patricia thanked Tony for freeing her, but she was never delivered. Oh, I didn't fear that I was doing anything wrong because I was trying to help. Aha, uh -huh. sure. Sure, 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 sure. I was really trying to help her and get her free. I want a refund! De facto, Tony! Dosłownie se kupił babę. 
in that time at the time she was released I was released I felt um, happy if I wanted sex I'd just go to the bar what czemu czemu nam dobrowolnie podajesz te informacje Jezus Maria, nie wiem. Nie, nie wiem, co się dzieje. On to wszystko mówi, jakby to była najnormalniejsza rzecz na świecie. On się tłumaczy, że nie jest złym człowiekiem. Bo gdyby chodziło mu tylko o seks, to by sobie poszedł do baru i wykorzystał pijaną laskę. Mhm. Mhm. Dzięki, że tego nie zrobiłeś. Sex. I was, I was trying to help her out and pay her quota. My intentions with Patricia moving forward are to get my refund. That was, that was the promise that whatever I paid now placed on a card, a money card. My real hope is was that I would get that money back because after I started adding it up, I realized that I was like, holy shit, that was a lot of money. Toni, 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 Toni. To jakie były te twoje intencje? Pomóc tej babie? Czy dostać e, zwrot kasy? Bo coś tu się nie zgadza. Toni's story was very concerning. We had to figure out if Patricia was real. We wanted to make sure that she was safe. Thankfully, after running a reverse image search, we were able to identify the real person in the photos within minutes. And you can do the same. If you're looking to find the identity of your online lover, you can start with the tools on our site, socialcatfish.com. You can click this YouTube card or click the link in our bio. Just hitting like, comment, and subscribe helps us build more tools out for you to use in the future. This thing was all farce. Everything was fake. We then looked into all the text messages and emails that Tony sent to us. This is when things took an even darker turn. Our team was able to put together a timeline of everything and the messages we read will shock you. Make sure you watch the full Jezu, teraz nas coś będzie szokuje po tym wszystkim, co już usłyszeliśmy? Video to find out what we learned. It was time to sit down with Tony for the first time. I have some questions when we were going through like the pre-interview and then a lot of the information you sent, you had sent a lot of correspondence back and forth. You had referenced a lot of your high school days and that's impacted your mindset now. Can you help us understand like what happened during that time frame and, and why uh, why that's something that you brought up? I don't care. I don't know. I, I don't even remember some of the questions. So you had mentioned um, like your high school days and how women wanted to be with you all the time. So I, that's what I, I was referring to. Not all the time. I mean, I was, I was successful as an athlete and some of the cheerleaders we hung out with, you know, they were... We're all single. I think from what I understand, you had gotten a random text message from somebody you didn't know, right? Right. And then uh, started having conversation back and forth with that person. Did you guys start exchanging pictures? What what happened during those conversations? So initially... Chłop dosłownie kopnie piłkę dobrze raz w liceum i mu się wyda... I tak mu to przestawi w głowie, że będzie mu się wydawało 40 lat później, że kobiety mu się należą do tego stopnia, że sam się zgłosi do publicznego programu, żeby wszystkim powiedzieć, że sobie próbował kupić babę i chce dostać za nią zwrot pieniędzy. I ni nic mu się nie zapali, że coś jest nie tak. It was just a correspondence. It was secondary to me wanting a date, so I made application or paid membership to a dating service and then I noticed that the pattern was the girls were going out of the app and utilizing my information and texting me secondary to that. I just it was I was I was learning as I was going because it seemed like the norm was a female had a manager, male or female, but it was it seemed like it was in order that it was the normal. And so I was being handed off 
between the female and then the manager. And the manager was the one that I really didn't appreciate. What was the manager for? To manage the female managerial duties, to oversee them, regulate or keep in bounds or establish some sort of rapport, I don't know. What were the expectations with talking to her and the manager? What was the expected outcome for you? My expectation was it was a dating site that I was looking for a date, like eHarmony, like any other single guy that was looking for a date. Aha, i, i na tych innych apkach rando, randkowych kobiety też mają menedżera, który pilnuje, żeby się zachowywały. Nie wiem, ja tam nie byłam na Tinderze. Dajcie mi znać, jak to jest. Dziewczyny wpuszczają was na Tindera bez menedżerów. Ok. Mój father dated and he used the service, I don't know what company, but I hear people using the dating and I thought, well, what the hell, I'll try it. So nothing at all felt weird or, uh, you know, any of the conversations that you had with the manager, you know, none of that stuff felt weird at all? I could tell that she wasn't educated in the United States because her grammatical sentence and all that, <laughs> misspelling words and so up. Oh, to jest znów to, co czym mówiłam w filmie na YouTubie, czyli to, jak Amerykanie wyobrażają sobie dwujęzyczność. Ktoś musiał być wyedukowany w Stanach, bo e, ma dobrą gramatykę w angielskim. Bo oczywiście ani nigdzie nie mówią po angielsku jako pierwszym języku nigdzie indziej na świecie, e, ani ludzie, którzy się nauczyli e, angielskiego, nie mają prawa mówić w nim poprawnie. Nie mam, pojęcia, nie mam pojęcia, o co chodzi z tymi bitsami, ale dziękuję, Agnes. Co? Ja z tej bicy dostaję kasę? What the hell? With a lot of like the stuff that you had sent us, and these are like emails and text messages that you'd sent back and forth, you were talking about delivery. What what is that? Like what like were you expecting the manager to deliver her to your house or? That was the term that they were using. You were paying for a date? What, what were you paying for? The quota to get her released. Uh, there was the quota. A what the fuck is the ID, quota? An authorization, a verification, a security check. And then there was uh, gas. They were charging for gas for the, and payment of the guard. And it was just really... The guard? Przepraszam bardzo za strażnika. Bullshit, but... Zas... Prze... On im płacił za strażnika? Gościu, przestań jakby... Quit yapping! Dlaczego on się przyznaje do tego wszystkiego? So as things were progressing, um, she had messaged you, said, hey, read my plan, babe. Uh, then he slapped me in my face and punched me in my tummy, he said when I try to run away, he will me, he's going to me. And then your response was, well, what did you learn with that action? What did you mean by that response? <gasps> what I don't know, the that, fuck? I don't remember the context of it. Nie, nie pamiętam kontekstu. Oni ci mówią właśnie kontekst, w jakim to powiedziałeś, debilu. Co? Czekajcie, o, jest kamerka z powrotem. Obczaja cię typa. 
Oni mu cytują, dosłownie mu cytują to, co sam jej napisał. Ona powiedziała, że ją pobili strażnicy, a on jej napisał, no i czego się z tego nauczyłaś? Typie, ty im sam to wysłałeś. Jak, jak w jego głowie świat działa, że to jest ok, normalne, dobrze, że to nie jest criminal behavior. Behavior. Bo w jakim on świecie żyje? Dlaczego ani razu nie został na żadnym etapie nie został zweryfikowany ten typ? Jego przekonania na temat świata nie zostały zweryfikowane, że to jest ok i że to jest dopuszczalne. Czemu oni zamazali jego ryj? Myślicie, że musieli prawnie? Ale dlaczego? Przecież sam się zgłosił do programu, na pewno sam podpisał jakieś rzeczy i sam im pokazał te screeny. Nie czaję. Well, I just read the context of it. Well, I think it is, I don't think it's all inclusive because if I was following it, if I was making reference to a lesson or to learn something, then it would have been well stated that there's a lot of um, clustered words there. I'm... There's a lot of clustered words there? Nie, to jest bardzo proste zdanie. Nie ma tam za dużo słów. A te, które są, nie są trudne. Ale zauważyliście, że trochę się jednak zmieszał? Zaczyna się plątać słowa. Chyba pierwszy raz w życiu zapaliła mu się w głowie lampka, że coś tu może być nie tak. The whole time that you were speaking to Patricia, did you know that, you know, there was going to be a business deal with her being sold to you? Może oni zamazali, bo była fala hejtu. No tak, pewnie była hala, fala hejtu, ale fala hejtu to chyba najłagodniejsze, co może go spotkać w tej sytuacji. Powinna go spotkać fala w więzieniu. Nie, żartuję. Nie, nie powinna go spotkać przemoc w więzieniu, ale po, powinien, moim zdaniem, dostać jakiś wyrok. She wouldn't tell me the specifics of why she was being held captive against her will. And so she said that she knew she knew the business and what was going on, but she couldn't say it because she was fearful that they would harm her. Keep in mind, guys, at this point, he knew she was being held captive. He knew she was being abused, yet he never contacted the police. At what point did you feel like, you know, maybe I should call the police or maybe I should help this girl out. Maybe I should get her some real help. Even if you didn't believe it, you I mean, you obviously did believe it because you sent money to her, right? To speak to her. So you believe that she was real. What at what moment, you know, did you stop and think maybe I should call the police and help her out? Well, I thought that all the time, but calling the police, you need proof, you need evidence, you need factual basis. And all I had was a number or a voice with no location, no true identity, no company. Um, these people were not even in the same location. Um, Jagodzianka twierdzi, że by nie zamazali, jakby serio nie musieli. Kurczę, nie wydaje mi się, żeby musieli prawnie. W sensie, nawet jak są... Te, te straszne programy typu Catch a Predator, to oni nie, nie zamazują ich twarzy w ogóle. I jedyne, co mi się wydaje, to może bali się jakiegoś linczu, takiego dosłownego, w sensie, że ktoś mu zrobi krzywdę. Because when I was asking who's there or What's the surrounding? She was pretty clear with you and was upfront about her situation with this company. Like we're looking at text messages. L literally her exact words were, I joined this company because I thought I would just sell PDP ID cards. I don't know what that means. They never told me that included having sex and meeting people. <gasps> They only told me this when I signed the contract. Co za śmieć. Ale zobaczcie, że ci z kamerzy dokładnie targetują się na, na gwałcicieli. W sensie, dlaczego mieliby mu pisać w imieniu tej zmyślonej dziewczyny, że ona nie wiedziała, z czym się wiąże praca w tej agencji i że jest 
ofiarą seks traffickingu właściwie. Oni liczą na gości, którzy tego właśnie chcą. So in April, like she told you that and you had sent all this money I mean after that. So you knew like the situation you sent all this money um, after that. Like I'm just be candid. Like morally I have a problem with this. You guys are I ask for help and if this is the help that you guys are coming forth with then um Tony signed up for meetme.com and Wow. Jaki bezczelny, obrzydliwy typ. A myślałem, że mi pomożecie a, uzyskać reklamację od tych handlarzy ludźmi. Za ofiarę handlu ludźmi, która nigdy do mnie nie dotarła, chociaż kupiłem sobie z nią seks. Chociaż ona nie chciała. Guys, czemu mi nie pomagacie? Myślałem, że od tego tu jesteście. App that we found that's commonly used to solicit sex online. Apple is even considering to remove this app from the App Store. He met Patricia Brown Fernandez January 2022. By February 1st, Tony had learned that Patricia was being held against her will, needed to meet a quota, was being physically abused in a facility kept by guards, but did not contact the police. By February 23rd, Tony had agreed to send money for the delivery of Patricia to his door. He sent a total of 15... Ej, ale baby tak pod drzwi ci po, od razu odstawiają. Wow. $100. By March 3rd, Tony found out that Patricia was not going to be delivered. He contacted us two days later. That's March 5th. Yeah. yeah. On April 3rd, Tony requested the delivery again for Patricia. I think, I think at this point, <laughs> it doesn't... Myślę, że że można sobie tam było wykupić Baba Prime, żeby ci na przykład dostarczyli następnego dnia rano baby pod drzwi od razu. Matter. Like, I, hey, so I just want to be clear. I don't feel good. About... <laughs> Paczkomat na baby. <laughs> Babomat. Oh my god. Przepraszam. <laughs> o, ja się śmieję tylko dlatego, że to nie jest, pra... że to jest zmyślona sytuacja. Oni go tylko oskamowali i tam się nie wydarzyło tak naprawdę nic strasznego, chociaż mogło. A... Ale wiecie o tym, że ja się śmieję z kurwu tak naprawdę, nie? I didn't feel good about her being held, so I wanted to give her the money and then I told her get out and go. And that's what she did. She got got out and she took off. And I told her yeah, I could show you the emails and she, she... Uh, little pulpet. Przepraszam, czy można numer trackingu? E, tak, ma wytatuowane na, na wnętrzu dłoni. She said thank you, and I said, "You're gonna do what you're gonna do. Just get get away from him. You don't just do what you have to do. Get away from him." She was saying um, she would be my maid, my slave. I was like, I can't be responsible for that. I have my own family. I can't be bringing a stranger into my house. I oh, yes, yeah, so I'm a rodzina. On ma żonę i dzieci. Ten chuj ma żonę i dzieci. <laughs> baba nasrała mi do babomatu. <laughs> Pisze Martyna baba swoją <laughs> Getting her away from the abuse, the assault, the threats. And um, as her being a witness or being the person that was impacted, that she would have enough authority, because I can't call the police and say, she was hurt. The police will tell me that. Dlaczego nie możesz? Dlaczego nie możesz? A możesz zadzwonić do Catfish, żeby zgłosić reklamację? You know, that I have no right to do that. So, I was trying to think. I have no right to do that? Co? The best case scenario, she needs to get out and then she can report. And she said that in these emails, that she'll claim, um, make a claim against them and get money. I was like, okay, fine. The main thing was getting her out, getting her out of that confined guard who had a, a gun. Ja myślę, że, ja myślę, że żonę by wysłał do babomatu po babę. Jakby szła po sałatę do kolacji, to by powiedział, a, zaj, a zajdziesz do babomatu od razu, bo mi tam chyba babę właśnie podrzucili. And with 
the manager who is um, taking and stealing the money. There was a part in the in the in the video that we saw. Your expectations were what they promised you, which was seeing her, meeting her, and effing that s out of her. You don't you don't remember saying that? <gasps> well, I don't remember saying to anything to her. On May fifth, you had <sighs> screenshotted it. They have receipts. On im mówił, że przecież ma rodzinę, więc tak naprawdę chodziło mu tylko o to, żeby zapłacić za tę babę, żeby ją uwolnić od jej złych menedżerów, którzy ją przytrzymują i biją. Nic więcej od niej nie chciało, ale oni mają wszystkiego wiadomości, w których jej pisał, co z nią zrobi, jak do niego przyjedzie. Sałatę do kolacji w USA? No dobra, mogłam trochę przestrzelić z tym faktycznie. Nie wiem, co oni tam jedzą kukurydzę email basically like i'm not even gonna read it like it's just very kluski z serem respectful and like pretty yeah so here's what okay so here tony here's what we're gonna do we're not gonna do anything we we've done 300 videos i don't feel good about this i don't feel good about you and we're gonna end this and uh and just leave it there okay i jak się wypisał z tej rozmowy That's your decision. Yep. All right. Thank you. Bye. Like we've dealt with so many people. Yeah. I've never, like, not cared that anybody gets scammed, and I don't give an f that this guy got scammed. Yeah. Like, we're not helping him out. We're not doing anything. I think we'll just recap and teach people how to protect themselves. And okay, też mnie w ogóle nie obchodzi, że go skamowali, ale co jeśli ten typ zrobi kiedyś faktycznie komuś krzywdę, a nie tylko da się oskamować. Chociaż może liczą na to, że jest za głupi na to. Właśnie. Właśnie. So like honestly, like he started saying like, hey, I was trying to help her out, and then I'm pulling up a message after, like he's saying that, thinking, okay, maybe he's telling the truth, yeah. and then I see a message, you know, a month, almost a month later from him saying, you better be here so I can, blah blah blah, you and, like, I mean the way like somebody talks like in that dis like disrespectful manner like. He didn't deserve anything. We didn't feel comfortable giving Tony any information that we found. We were able to find out that the woman in the photos was in no harm. Patricia was a fake person who stole images from two Instagram models, Aaron Ashford and Victoria Tanani. To były dwie różne baby. <laughs> Nawet nie zauważył. In the end, we decided to not help Tony out because we felt that his morals weren't aligned with ours. To be clear, Tony was involved in a scam that is different from a lot of romance scams we see. We believe that if at any moment Tony thought this was real, he should have reported it to the authorities. This is what I think happened. I believe that Tony truly didn't know what was going on. If this was real, Tony would be in a lot of trouble. As romance scams continue to evolve, so do we. With that being said, if you ever come across a situation where someone is being held against their will, the right thing to do is to report it to the authorities. Mm -hmm. Tony claims Mr. that he was trying to help Patricia, but the timelines of the emails and messages back and forth just didn't add up enough to feel like he was worth helping. This created doubt for us. Do you guys think this scammer is just another scammer or a vigilante? Comment down below. We'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching and vigilante. W sensie, że skamuje creepów za bycie creepami? Hmm? Obstawiam, że raczej po prostu skamuje ludzi. Another episode of Scamfish, everyone. Remember, new videos go out every Wednesday. If you or anyone else you know might be going through a scam, please send an email to share my story at socialcatfish.com. Więc to był krótszy odcinek. Myślę, że widzicie dlaczego.